Good morning. Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke chapter 15, verses 11 and 12 this morning. Now, we had the lost sheep, the parable Jesus told there, and then told the parable of the lost coin. And now we're going to find out quite a bit here as we take in these next 11 mornings. We're going to talk about the lost son. Today, just verses 11 and 12. Here we go. Then he said, this is Jesus, a certain man had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, Give me the portion of goods that falls to me. So he divided to them his livelihood. Now, we're just getting, this is the setup for the whole thing, but I want you to notice uh, there are two sons, and one of them has the temerity. I mean, it's basically saying, like, Dad, I want my inheritance today. I, I Basically, it's like saying, Father, I wish you were dead and I had the inheritance. Uh, this, is, this is a great indignity. This is an incredible, humiliating thing to have your son come to you and say, Look, I want to leave. I want to get out of here. I'm going to go out and check out the world. Uh, just give me my portion and, and I'm out of here and I, I'm, I'm probably never coming back. You know, that kind of attitude. But the father, what does he do? It's right there. Father, give me the portion of goods that falls to me. And then it gives the reaction of the father. Very simple. He, he did not stop the son. It says here very plainly, so he divided to them his livelihood. So when you're giving out the livelihood, you've kind of got to divide it to everybody, don't you? I mean, if it's going to be divided between the two... And so the father gave to the, the one son his inheritance, and away he goes. And he gives to the other son his inheritance. And it's kind of like saying, like, man, we wish you were dead. It's, it's really gross. This is really sad. But the father doesn't hesitate. He, he, this is a totally unjust uh, kind of a thing. And yet the father goes right along with it. He says, all right, I will give you your inheritance. And you know what? There's one piece here. You know, the father was able, when the son went away, the father was able to hope and pray and watch for him to return. So it's a, he felt like he was glad to be alive. But anyway, we're going to get ahead of that here. I just think it's interesting to see this, this remarkable indignity. Listen, I'm, I'm old enough now. Give me my stuff. I, I'm moving out. I'm just going to take it with me. It's a, it's a terrible kind of a thing. And there must have been a lot of resentment in the house. We'll find out more as we go. But the father, look at him. Free will. He's totally about free will. He's going to give you your free will. You're going to take your stuff and go. Son, don't forget God, and you give him your stuff, and away he goes. So this is kind of the, the beginning on the parable of what we call the prodigal son. But it's, it's more than just the prodigal son, but we'll come to that tomorrow morning. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, we thank you that, we can, uh, that you're seeking not just the lost sheep, you're seeking not just the lost coins, but you're going to seek the lost son. In fact, you're going to seek two lost brothers. So bless us, Lord, as we continue to study this is one of the most famous uh, sayings in the Gospel of Luke, and we want to understand it better. So help us these mornings. Help us to be uh, surrendering to you, Lord. Help us to not do indignities to, to you. Help us to exercise our free will in the right way. Here's not the best example. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayers and saving us. In Jesus' name, amen. So the Lord be on your side. May you be blessed this day.